how's it going? Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a peeled sticker text effect in Photoshop. So let me go ahead and start from scratch here so you can follow along and learn how to create this effect on your own. So we're going to click on our text tool here, and you want to pick a font that has rounded letters and is not too complicated. I'm going to use Poplar STD. Uh, you can use any font that you choose, any font that you like. But again, make sure it's not too complicated with too many lines and designs in it. So once you've typed out the word that you want to make in it into a sticker, you can adjust the size and position however you like. I'm going to make mine fairly large so it's visible. Alright, once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and click on this layer and right click on it and select blending options and we're going to check color overlay here you want to select the basic color that you want your text to be and for this tutorial I'm going to use a pale red almost like a pinkish red and then you want to check stroke we're going to use a solid white color experiment on your own if you want to use a different one but just make sure that you turn the size up to the point that any of these holes inside between the letters are not apparent anymore you want the stroke to completely fill in all the holes in between the letters now we're going to right click on our layer again and we're going to convert it to a smart object this way we can add more blending options so right click and this time select pattern overlay here we're going to add a texture to our sticker of a paper texture so select color paper textures and a lot of these work well and you can experiment on your own but I'm going to use this one right here called craft paper it should come default in Photoshop and I'm going to set it to multiply so if you made your stroke white it should overtake most of the stroke which I think looks nice and uh, a bit grungy of an effect. You can play with the opacity and of course try out any of these other textures if you want a different look than the one I'm using. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this craft paper texture. Alright so go ahead and click OK once you've found the right texture and we're going to right click again and we're going to convert our object to a smart object again and go ahead and rasterize your layer even. Now grab your polygonal lasso tool and you're going to click on the edge that you want to be peeled off. So I'm going to peel off the top left portion of my sticker. Click each point of your selection off and then finally close your selection. So here we have the top left corner peeled and I'm going to right click and layer via cut so that slices it away from the other layer into its own separate layer. Now you want to go to edit, transform, rotate 180 degrees and this should flip it right over the way you want but if you have any minor adjustments you can use command T or edit transform to rotate it a bit more and get it precisely lined up to that edge. Also I'm using the arrow keys here to move the position. Once you've positioned it correctly, right click in, on the blending options and select color overlay. Here we're going to make it solid white to be the back of the sticker and we're also going to check satin. Change the angle so that you have the shadow running across the middle of the peel and you can also click on it and drag it to adjust the size and blur of it. Lower the opacity to somewhere at about 30% and click OK. Now if you hold command and click on your newly created layer here it should select the entire layer perfectly. This way we can create another new layer with shift command N, grab our brush tool and create an inner shadow. So with your black brush tool Turn the opacity at about 70% and use a brush size that's fairly low on the hardness scale and 
at about 70 pixels I'd say and using the edge of the brush just slightly create that shadow and I can command D to deselect once I'm happy with that and that adds a little bit of realism and we're gonna add one more shadow on the underside of this flap so again this time we're going to hold command and select our sticker layer and then while holding alt or option and command we're going to select our peel layer which should remove that from our selection so now all we have is the unpeeled sticker so again on another new layer or you could do, do it on the same layer if you want you're going to now use the edge of the same brush to create the shadow of the peel you don't want it to be too harsh or too wide so you can adjust the opacity if you want too dark but that adds a little bit of detail and realism to give you your final effect that you see here you can use this same method for circle shapes or any shape layers and pretty much it's all in the details and the texture which adds the realism I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I know it was kind of long but hopefully you were able to follow along and catch what I was trying to explain so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe for more tutorials and leave me a suggestion on something you want to see in the future I'll see you next time